All right, let's jump right in. We have this little planet, and I have this space rock, and then this little cool rocket or something. I am going to go up to the top left to curves, and this is called a NURB circle. And when I press this, it's going to populate in the center of your world. So I'm going to press 4 just so I can see it. 4 is wireframe. 5 is shaded mode. And I can scale this up. And think of this just the path of the orbit. Okay. I'm going to press 5 to get back to that shaded display. Now we're ready to rock. So what I want to do is make this rock follow this path. It's pretty simple. The very first thing you need to do is make sure this top left drop down is set to animation or rigging. It doesn't matter. Remember this drop down, all that it does is it changes this top row and gives you more or less options. So now this top row uh, has things I need for rigging. Now it has things I need for animation. So we're going to change it to animation. You must first select the curve itself, hold shift, grab the object that you want. Now, this is super important, and I'll show you why in a moment. Um, the pivot point matters. So if your pivot point were way off in this direction, I'll show you what happens. Grab the curve, hold shift, grab the object. We are looking for constraint at the top, down to motion paths, attached to motion path. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the option box. And I'm going to make sure everything is reset. I'm going to click apply. So you'll notice that my rock went somewhere. Let's see. My rock is probably in the center. Yep. So my pivot point was not centered on my object. So if I scrub through my timeline, it's like working, but it's definitely not following this. So let's back up a second, show you the proper way. We need to make sure that this object that the pivot point is actually centered on the object. So with that object selected, I'm going to go to modify, center pivot, bam. Now this is going to work much better. Grab the curve, hold shift, grab the object, and then in our, or under animation, go to constrain, motion path, attach to motion path. I already have the option box opened here, so I'm just going to click apply. You say, oh wait, where'd it go? So it throws it over here. And this is going to go all the way around. Now this number is set to 500 because that's what my timeline is set to. It's set to 500. If I wanted to change that, I could pick the start frame, the end frame. Doesn't really matter at this point. But that is pretty cool. Let's press play, see what happens. Okay, so there is a problem with this. If this were an actual chunk orbiting in space, uh, these chunks should not start at zero, like zero speed, zero velocity, and then they slowly speed up. Watch this again. It slowly speeds up and then gets to speed, and then at the end, it slowly slows down. Okay, so we're gonna fix that. How do we fix that? We go up to Windows, to Animation Editor, and we're gonna look at the Graph Editor. So in your animation, this is what's happening. This is that speed up, and then it's a constant right here, and this is that slow down. So what I'm gonna do is grab this, left click and drag to highlight, and I actually need to make my window a little bit bigger because what I'm looking for is this. By default, this auto tangents, uh, this is that slow in, slow out. We just wanna press linear. This is that straight line, and bam. So let's take a look at the results now. So we can close this. It did not speed up. It's just going at a constant rate all the way around this. And same thing, constant rate, it does not slow down. Now, what if your animation is actually, I don't know, 2000 frames long? So currently it goes and then it stops at 500. How do we change it after the fact? Windows, Animation Editor, Graph Editor. With a rock selected or whatever object you have, highlight the curves. We're going to go to Curves, Post Infinity, and Cycle. That will force um, the animation just to keep going and going and going and going and going. Great. So let's do that again, except with this uh, rocket ship. I'm going to drop in a NURB circle, scale it up. I'm going to check the pivot point of this. I'm going to put it in the center, modify center pivot. Good enough. Let's grab the curve, hold shift, grab this object. 
Don't forget, this is under constrain, motion path, attached to motion path. So I'm going to make sure everything is reset here. Edit, reset, things are good. I'm going to hit apply. So what if I wanted my rocket ship to point the other direction or like, you know, the tip of this cone to be the head of it and I want it to be pointing that way, essentially like this, right? That didn't work. You can play with this front axis, up axis. I hate doing that. Let me show you a different approach. So before we actually attach it to a motion path, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this little rocket ship. First, I'm gonna clear my history. That is Alt Shift D as in Delta, because I have some modeling on this thing. Let's go to Edit, Delete by Type, Alt Shift D, that's history. Boom, that's gone. I've already centered the pivot. That looks good. I'm gonna press Control G as in Golf. That has grouped this with itself. So that gives me the geometry and then gives me the group. So on this group, my pivot point is way over here. I know that because with the group selected in my outliner, if you can't see your outliner, press this button over here. The group is selected. I press W. My pivot point is way over there. Let's put it in the center. Go up to modify, center pivot. Great. So let's go ahead and grab our curve. I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and then grab the group. Don't grab the geometry. Grab the group. Constrain, motion path, attach to motion path. Okay, but uh, Al, it's still upright. That is correct. But since I attach the group, the group is going to be controlling uh, it following that motion path. And what I can do is select the cone, rotate this whichever way I want. Let's do negative 90, negative 90. There we go. And this thing is just good to go. I don't need to set a keyframe on that. If I wanted to set keyframes and animate this, I can. This just gives me a ton of control um, over this and it's actually following the motion path how I want it. 